what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Brika monique and today is wednesday you guys i'm actually here on time and i went to the store and i got some stuff and just know that everything didn't work out like i wanted it to for the most part but you know it's all good this week i told myself that i'm gonna coupon and i only wanted to spend 30 dollars out of pocket for everything yeah well let's just say i bust that probably like about 20 30 dollars but anyways i still got good deals i think that also if you don't want to spend all of your points you can do these deals like how i did it because i just always want to keep points on hand but if you don't care about the points you just want to keep going and get free stuff then absolutely do the opposite of what i did and use your points so you guys today i went to my two usual stores on wednesdays I went to CVS and Walgreens and I'm going to start off with Walgreens first because I went to Walgreens first. Now I did split my transactions up between two different Walgreens just so I don't aggravate the cashiers and stuff with so many transactions. Just make sure going into couponing that you are always nice. Make sure you understand that there are other people that need to, um, you know, to cash out and get their stuff. Also, that sometimes maybe the cashier might be tired of seeing you. And even though that's their job, just try to be understanding. So if you have more than two transactions, kind of say, you know, hey, I have two transactions. If that's okay, do your two transactions. Walk around the store to get your other stuff. Then come back and do two more. Get what I'm saying? Cool. All right. So first thing first, this is Walgreens, you guys. I went to this Walgreens and did four transactions. Luckily, the people at this Walgreens, they know me very well. They like when I come in because I'm always organized and it's never an issue, okay? Oh, wait, hold on. What's my manners? Hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Couponing with Brika. If you're new, make sure that you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below letting me know that you're a newbie. Welcome. Come back every Wednesday and look at some deals. But anyways... Again, you guys, this is Walgreens. So my first transaction over here, it was the Shea Moisture. As you all know, this week there's a um, six off of two digital. And then we also have those great three off of 12, five off 12, five off 20, five off 15 digitals on the app as well. And that's exactly what I took advantage of this week. So let's get into these transactions. Transaction number one comes from Shea Moisture, you guys. So I picked up this intensive hydration leave-in milk. And this is for my daughter's hair because she has very dry hair. And um, so let me try it out. Maybe it'll work for her. Also, I have this Manuka Honey and Mafira Oil. And this is a hydrating mask. And so my transaction went like this. I purchased the, the honey milk for $11.99 and I got the mask for $174. As you can see, they are buy one, get one, half off. All right, so looking at my coupons, I had a five off 12 that came off and then my Shea Moisture coupon, which is a six off of two came off. My subtotal was $2.73 and $3.43 with tax. I thought that I would have hit beauty but I didn't, so I didn't get anything back for this one. But that helped me out because I only needed $4.76 to get to beauty, which will give me my 5,000 points. So nothing back on this transaction, but I did get it for only like $2.73. So that was transaction number one. Transaction number two, I purchased two of the Scope, with well, the Crest with Scope Outlast toothpaste. And I purchased two of the Oral-B, these are the Precision Clean brushes. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. That's the Crest toothpaste. And then this one is the Oral-B. All right, so, oh, and I also purchased a Jack Links. And the reason why I did that on this transaction is because I used a register rewards. So you guys, with register rewards, this is just a quick little hint. If you're gonna use points, if you're gonna use, um, another register reward or if you plan to receive a register reward from a transaction and you want to use a register reward to pay for it you have to have a filler item okay a filler item is an item that is not part of the same promotions that is not on sale and it can be used in the place of that register reward okay so just say 
if I had three register rewards and this was on sale, this was on sale, this is on sale, and I wanted to use a register reward for each of those, I would have to pick up another item to substitute so that I can use my register rewards. You get what I'm saying? Everything has to have something attached to it. So I can't just take this off and get those items and use my register reward or I don't get points back. I have to have a filler item to attach to that register reward so that I can get the rewards from these back. I know it's kind of confusing. Just slow my video down and you'll get it. Anyways, let's look at my receipt. All right, so that's my teriyaki stick at the top for $1.99. I purchased two of the Crest toothpaste at $2.99. And I purchased two of the Oral-B brushes at $3.99. My three off of 15 came off. My $2 for the little Oral-B brushes came off. It's a digital on there for that. My $1 came off for the scope whitening. And you guys, I think that my $5 register reward kind of knocked off the other digital that was attaching. Now, I still would have came out of pocket the same if I did not use a register reward, but I could not use a register reward and my five off of two together. Reason why is because that $5 register reward and that five off of two equals $10 in discounts. Well, my total wasn't $10, so that's why I couldn't use both at one time. So that means I have an extra five off of two I can use, right? On my digital app. But anyway, my subtotal was $4.95 for all of this stuff. And let's see what I got back. I received 4,000 points back. I thought that I would have gotten 8,000 points back for this. Um, I don't know why I didn't. I'll go back and look at the, um, the ad and stuff. And if it's wrong, I will definitely, you know, call customer service. But for now, it's all good. I did receive 4,000 back. So let's go up to transaction number three. Transaction number three, I purchased three of the Crest Pro Health Advanced Toothpaste. I purchased four Oral-B toothbrushes, okay? Now these toothbrushes, they are different prices. And I'm gonna go through that with you all. So let's look at my receipt. I purchased three of the Crest Advanced Toothpaste at $3.99. I purchased two Oral-B toothbrushes at $2.99. I purchased another at $2.99 and then I purchased one at $4.99. My five off of 15 came off and then I had a $1 off digital. Now on this one again, this is what I was telling you all about like the five off of two that didn't come off transaction number two. It also didn't come off of this one. Reason being is because on this one, I use my points. Well, you know what? Honestly, my points shouldn't have interfered on this one because it's not like I was using a registered reward. So I'm gonna call and see what was up with this because that ain't right. Because I honestly should have gotten two, four, six, 6,000 points back and I did not. But anyways, my subtotal was $19.93. My subtotal um, after tax was $21.60. I used $10 in points and I spent $11.60 out of pocket. I received, oh, I did get 8,000 points back for this. I'm sorry. I received 8,000 points back. I used 10, so that rounded me up to 21,000, okay? Which is great. So this is a great transaction. Let's go back. Do this one. You can try and do this one. Do it right, though. Definitely do this one. But make sure that your, um, your $5 digital come off, okay? Now, by all means, if I did not like this total, I could have told them, never mind. But it was all good with me. So I did get my 8,000 points back, okay? So this one is a go. Now, upon doing this one, I also received a, what was it? A $3 register reward back. Because on certain Oral-B products, when you purchase two, you will get a $3 register reward back. So just say, two of these got me 4,000 one of these and a toothbrush got me four thousand, which is eight thousand. And then purchasing two of the toothbrushes gave me a three dollar register reward back. So I wrote my three dollar register reward from this transaction, which is like the Orbi toothbrushes, into transaction number four. 
So do you all remember me saying that I had $4 and some change to get to beauty, my 5,000? This is what I did. So this week, when you buy two participating Dove items, you will get 1,000 points back. So I know that I was using a register reward. So I picked up some filler items and I know that I was using a manufactured coupon as well. So I picked up another one just in case. So let's look at my receipt, you guys. I purchased two of the um, Hershey cookies and cream bars at 75 cents each. So that was 150. I purchased two Dove body washes at 5.99 each. I used a $2 off two manufactured coupon that I printed from the Dove um, email that they sent me. And then I also had my $3 register reward. My subtotal was $8.48. My total after tax was $9.50. I redeemed 5,000 in points, so I paid $5.50 cash. Let's look and see what I got back. All right, so I redeemed 5,000, but I received 6,000 back. Yes, I finally hit beauty. So that was 5,000 and then my 1,000 points from purchasing two participating Dove items. So that was a great transaction, guys. If you're looking for something easy and you have 5,000 points to spare, that would be great. But you also have to be close to hitting beauty. So you will receive 6,000 back instead of just 5,000 for beauty. All right, guys. So you thought this was it with Walgreens, right? Well, not really. I went to another Walgreens because I was looking for Scott tissue and paper towels. And I still haven't found any, but I will show you what I did buy from there. So you guys, I can't find my receipt for this one, but I kind of remember it by heart. So as you all know, these are $5 at Walgreens. And if you use the IVC booklet, you will get $1.25 off. So it'll bring your total down to $4.75. I also purchased this kiss. This is the acrylic set. And the reason why I got this small one instead of the big one is because I currently have two kiss sets already. As y'all know, I did my own nails like a week or two ago. And so I purchased this one because I needed that acrylic liquid. But this was $7.99. So my total was like $11 and some change. And then it rounded up to $12 something. Um, what else? Yeah, 12 for tax. I used $10 in points and I paid the remainder with cash. So this is nothing special, but I know that we're, we need these at home all the time. And I take a box to work and stuff like that. But I definitely really needed this because I'm going to practice nails on my family. But yeah, y'all. So this pretty much is everything that I got from Walgreens. Okay. Next, we're going to hop into CVS. Okay, you guys, so this is my little CVS haul. This did not go as planned, and I'm pissed off about it. Pretty much. So this week at CVS, when you buy four participating items, um, you get like, I think it's $7 in ECBs back or whatever. So that was supposed to be that transaction. Then with the Colgate, they had a transaction of, um, Spend $8 in Colgate on certain ones and you would get a $4 ECB back. Okay. Well, this, it went good because this actually works. Okay. So check it. If you buy four of these 3.4 ounce Colgate Total SF, it has to be the advanced fresh with whitening kind. Okay. Buy four of these and you will get um, $8 an ECB back okay but the deal is buy two get four so I doubled it because you can do um, two per household okay so buy four Colgate's and you will get an eight dollar ECB back um with the swab I really just purchased this because on Ibotta you will get an Ibotta rebate for this okay 50 cents I want to say but for me I'm at 19 dollars and 70 something cents so I really need to hit 20 in order to cash it out so what I did was I purchased this Suave um, body wash. And honestly, this is on a promotion in itself. When you buy two of these, you will get a $2 ECB back. So I'm going to go back and get another one. I should have purchased them together, but it is what it is. Because they're on sale for buy one, get one 50% off. But it's only two bucks, so why not? So Pantene this week. 
There are two different Pantene promotions, but the one that I did was buy three for $12. So I purchased three of them for $12. The Crest 3D White is on sale for $2.99. But blah, 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 let's look at this receipt so I can explain what happened, y'all. All right, so you see my Pantene's one, two, three. They are three for 12. My Crest was at $2.99. My Suave was $2.39. I purchased one, two, three, four Colgate's, okay? They were $4.59 each. My coupons that applied, my five off of Colgate came off great. Thank you. So that was the five off of three Colgate. I had a $1 off of Crest. My three off of three for Pantene came off. My three off 12 for healthcare, I mean, hair care came off. My three off of 12 for Colgate came off. And I used a $6 ECB. So my total for nine items was $18.31 and I paid $20.73 out of pocket. Now, this is what aggravated me because I knew for sure I was supposed to get an eight back and I knew I was supposed to get a seven back. Well, all right, body care. Buy two, get a $2 ECB. That has to be for the suave. I need one more to go to get a $2 ECB. So I'm going back to get that one tomorrow. Colgate, spend $8, you'll get a $4 ECB. I spent 16 plus, so I got an $8 ECB back instead. Because again, you get $4 when you spend eight, which is pretty much buying two of those or whatever. So I spent, um, like I said, over $16 and I got back an $8 ECB. So my limit was reached there. Body care, buy four and you will get a $7 ECB. Well, um, I'm guessing that they considered that body care. So, but they didn't consider that body care. And those are on the same promotion. So, why didn't that work? But it's all good. I'll just go back and buy some cheap body care or whatever. But I need to buy one more in order to get my $7 ECB. Hair care. Buy three, get a $5 ECB. Quantity toward this reward is only one. Quantity needed to earn reward is two. How is it that only one hair care thing went towards this reward when I purchased three? So to me, this is messed up. It's backwards, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to call customer service. Y'all know how I am. But anyways... This is what I got from CVS. I did get my $8 ECB back, but I'm gonna go and get two more things so I can get my other nine. Sorry, y'all, I know this one's like, dog, Brickle, why you so sad? But I spent money on this, you know what I'm saying? I, true enough, I need these items, but I want my money back too, bro. But it's all good. Anyways, again, make sure y'all screenshot all this stuff if you need it. Make sure you rewind it back, listen again, so you can know what I did and get you some money, okay? Again, y'all, just thank you so much for coming back to my channel, you guys. Oh, don't forget, um, some of these items are on Ibotta. So if you don't use Ibotta, you need to get on, boo. Get on, okay? But thank you all for coming back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, you guys, make sure you follow these deals. But again, listen to the advice that I give so that you can have a lower out-of-pocket than me. But if you do have points to use, by all means, use some points, boo, and build them back up. But again, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave me some feedback below. And uh, till next time, peace out.